Hello, welcome to the Bradford Literature Festival. Um, I know Bradford, I was at university in Bradford from 1973 to 1977, or 1973, well, 1977. And um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about poetry and a bit about painting and a bit about bird life. Um, this is a poem that I heard when I was 10 years old and I thought it's fantastic, I'll just do a little bit of it. I didn't know what all the words meant, um, but I loved the music of it. It's called Tarantella, it's by Hilaire Belloc, and part of it goes thus. Do you remember an inn, Miranda? Do you remember an inn? And the tedding and the spreading of the straw for her bedding and the fleas that tease in the high Pyrenees and the wine that tasted of the tar? And the cheers and the jeers of the young muleteers under the vine of the dark veranda. Do you remember an inn, Miranda? Do you remember an inn? And the hip hop hap of the clap of the hands to the twirl and the swirl of the girl gone chancing, glancing, dancing, backing and advancing, snapping of the clapper to the spin, out and in, and the ting tong tang of the guitar. And I remember thinking how wonderful that language was. And, um, it's a poem that I come back to when I want to hear a little bit of music when there's no music playing. I think of the music in the language. Um, and this is a poem of mine called Quick Potato Poem. The spud sped. Now, it may not seem like much of a poem that, but um, it's, it's something that is also on the page, because you can see I've drawn, drawn the potato and I've drawn, uh, tried to draw the speed of the sped there as well. Um, but what is a poem? I mean, it's hard to know. Is that a poem, you might say, because it's a bit too short and doesn't rhyme with it much. Um, so it's hard to know what a poem is. I, I can't tell you what a poem is, but uh, I'm going to try and tell you what a poem is not. And this is called What a Poem's Not Poem. And I think I'll say some of it and then I'll sing some of it because poems and songs are very joined up, very... Um, yeah, sometimes it's hard to know what's a song, what's a poem. If you, uh, so anyway, so look, this is, uh, goes through the alphabet of things that a poem's not. A poem is not an ant, but it can be quite short. A poem is not a banana, but there might be something under its skin. A poem is not a coat, but it may have some warmth in it. A poem is not a dog, and it doesn't need a basket. A poem is not an endless pair of trousers, but it can be quite long. A poem is not a football shaped like a cucumber. A poem is not a great number of things. A poem is not a hedgehog, but it might be hard to get hold of. A poem is not an igloo, but it can feel like home. A poem is not a jack-in-the-box, but it can be quite stupid. A poem is not a kite, but it might enjoy the wind. A poem is not a light bulb, but you can change it if you want to. A poem is not a monkey, but it can be quite human. A poem is not a nut, but you can give it to a monkey. A poem is not an uku oko, 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 oko. A poem is not a prison, and it shouldn't feel like one either. A poem is not a question, actually, it is sometimes. A poem is not a radio, but you may have to tune into it. A poem is not a slot machine, but you can put something into it. A poem is not a toothbrush. So don't clean your teeth with it. A poem is not a Veruca, and I'm glad. A poem is not a wig, but you can wear it if you want to. A poem is not an X-ray, make no bones about it. A poem is not a year old bag of vegetables, but it can smell quite strongly. A poem is not a xylophone and it can spell words wrongly. So, we're going to move on to painting now. And we've got a painting, this is a painting by, and excuse me if I don't say the name correctly, uh, but it is by uh, a, a Punjabi artist called Arpana Kaur. And I saw this painting when I was in Cartwright Hall in Bradford, and I thought this is a beautiful piece uh, and at the time I was working in schools and getting people to write about uh, things in the painting. And something I didn't do then, but I've thought about this painting, just like I think about this Tarantella poem. And I thought it would be, there's scissors as you can see, and uh, there are birds, you can see lots of birds. 
And I thought it'd be nice to use some scissors and to snip out a bird. So I cut out this bird here. Um, so, and how I did it was I, I, I cut out half, um, so I drew half a bird like that and then cut round that. Um, so it sort of is going to be something like that and then it's going to make this. And, um, and then I tried to, and I thought, wow, I wonder if it flies. And it sort of does. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's not so good at flying, but maybe you could do some other things. And maybe uh, lots of people, a class load of people could make some birds and maybe stick them onto a great big sheet. I have a big sheet with all the birds stuck on there. Um, or then I thought using, because there's a needle, well, you can't actually see the needle uh, in the painting. Um, the person with that long green arm looks like they're holding a needle and thread, but I couldn't see one. But anyway, I've got a needle and thread here and I made another bird. And I thought maybe you can make a mobile because I thought those ones would be too big. So if you had a class, it might be too big to have, say, 26, 30 of those. Uh, and I've got another one, but then I looked at this one I've made here and I thought the body is a bit short there. So I wanted to make it, so I've made this one here and I've not cut this one out yet. So I'm going to find out what this one looks like. So I'm going to snip this up now and find out if this um, kind of thicker body is going to work a bit better. So these scissors here, um, are quite blunt and I think it's probably quite good to work with quite blunt scissors. No, not with scissors, scissors. And um, snip away like this. And then snip around here. And I like to leave sometimes just a little gap between the drawing and the snipping. So, okay, so there we got that. And now I'm gonna fold over the wings. So there it is, the bird here. And we're going to see how this one flies. Here we go. So this is first flight of this bird. So, so here's a little piece that I've written about the painting. And what I'd like you to do, so Cartwright Hall is a wonderful place in Bradford. It's a building that has art in it. It has a cafe, it has sculpture. It's an incredible, it's got a, a big tower and sculptures around the tower. And um, when I was in Bradford, I used to love going in there and I used to hear music. Um, I used to hear music, that, not just poetry music, but music made by uh, a string quartet called the Lindsay String Quartet. Very beautiful. And this is about the painting by Arpana Kaur and also about Cartwright Hall in Bradford. And I would like you to say Cartwright Hall when I hold up Cartwright Hall like that. So this is the first time I've ever done this. Possibly the last. Uh, so let's see how we get on. I'm a pal of this painting on the gallery wall in Bradford, Yorkshire in the... By the boating lake and the fountains fall and the tea and the cake in the... There are some might say, there is something wrong. That right green arm, it is far too long. When they've had a look round and they've seen it all and they're sat in the cafe in the... And they may say... Look at that, and say out loud, a fine green figure, you can be right proud. Who do we know who can sew up a cloud with a needle and a thread that cannot be seen on an arm that is very green and lengthy? Who do we know like that? Nobody. And the scissors they snip and the birds they call in this art that is part of the... By Arpana Kaur, I am grateful to her and to the picture hanger-uppers who came to install the one we call the embroiderer in the heart and the height of the... Now, um, another thing that you can do with your birds is you can make... So when I was a youngster, my dad made these little televisions and um, we used to put things, pictures that were done in them and you could uh, have some of your birds that you've done in them there. Um, so you could stick those on there like that. And there's another one. Um, and this one here, I'd like to do something for you about this bird here, which is a bird called the guillemot. And the guillemot is a bird that dives into the ocean and goes fishing. And in this poem, 
um, there are some movements, and I'm going to show you the movements. Um, so when I say uh, guillemot, I'd like you to do guillemot wings. Uh, when I say eat my uh, fill a lot, I, I, no, eat my fill a lot is, is this, use my bill a lot is this. Yeah, that's bill a lot, that's fill a lot. Go on, get it, that right. Uh, jellyfish is this. Water and wet is this. Fish is this. Ledges is this. Vertical edges is this. Drill is this. Um, diver is this. Ocean arriver is this. Specky is this. Recky is this. And this is the poem. I am a guillemot. I use my bill a lot. I get the fish out of the wet. I eat my fill a lot. I live on ledges, vertical edges. Eating wise, I do not know what veg is. Don't give me sherbet. Give me a turbot. My appetite for fish I cannot curb it. I am a guillemot. I know the drill a lot. I drill into the drink and get the drink and not the ink upon my quill a lot. So you don't thrill a lot. Well, listen, humans, very soon you will a lot. Did you know that I can go so deep I've been seen from the porthole of a submerged submarine 130 metres under? I don't think so. Miss it and blink so. I come in hard and I'm able to sink so. I am a guillemot. I do my specky recky from my rocky window sill a lot. I am a diver, ocean arriver. Underneath I go, I am no skyver. I don't do nesting when I am resting. I can sleep while I'm standing on one leg and so it doesn't roll off when I stretch my wings or stroll off. I've got an egg that is conical and eccentrically weighted so it don't fall off the edge of the cliff face into the water with all the jellyfish and all the other fish. I am a guillemot. I find the fishes tend to lose one nil a lot, but I take only what I need. I'm not a greedy bird. I am sustainable, self-restrainable. I am a guillemot, am I not? <laughs>